to the gardening kit and today I'll be showing you how to transfer lettuce. So these are some lettuce that I grew a few months or weeks ago and these are arugula. So I'm going to be showing you how to thin these out. And I planted these a few months ago and how I did that was I dug some trenches so that I knew where they were and I it made it loosen up the soil so that it's easy for them to grow. And then I sprinkled some seeds and they just sprouted. So now that they're getting to a big enough size that I want to spread them out. I want them to give, I want to give them enough room to grow and get big. And if I don't move them right now, then they're just going to stay at the size they are and they're not going to produce anything that I can eat. So to be able to do this, what I want to do is I want to loosen this soil. So I've loosened the soil and then I want to plant them about four inches apart. And right now they've got pretty shallow roots, so the, the holes don't need to be very deep. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my shovel into the ground and lift them up. Okay, so now that I've got this clump, you might see that I have multiple plants here. So what I want to do is I want to break it up. And you want to be really careful because they're very um, shallow and they're very fragile right now. So, next thing I want to do is I want to dig a hole here. Just make it kind of shallow. And then I want to put it there and cover it up. And then now, after a few months, it's going to grow a lot bigger and it'll be ready to eat. So I'm going to continue what I just did and break it apart and take one plant. So you can tell which one is one plant because they've each got one face. So I want to space this one also four inches apart. And it's nice to make them in some organized rows because it's just easier to know what they are and they look a lot nicer. They look nice and neat. So you want to pat it down so that it can stand up. And then I want to get another plant. And these two are pretty close together, so it's going to be kind of hard. But I just want to pull them apart ever so gently. And I want to plant them. And you want to, so if you might notice, this one's a little tippy. And it's not very strong in its own right now. So I want to plant it a little deeper so that the soil gives it enough support to stand on its own. And then I want to kind of bunch it around the stem and then pat it down and then it stands tall. And then I want to grab my next one. Do the same thing. And I'm just gonna repeat this until I'm finished. So now that I'm done transferring them, I want to make sure that I give them a nice good soak on the shower setting of my hose on the lowest water pressure. Because if it's on the highest water pressure, it's going to hurt the um, newly transferred lettuce because they're really fragile and their roots are still really shallow. And you want to do shower or maybe even mist. Hi guys, so my neighbors are being really loud, so I'm just going to record this part as a voiceover. So these are some older plants that I got about a month ago from a nursery, and they're ready to be harvested. So you can use pruners, but I'll be using some sharper trimmers. So the cut and come back method is when you cut the outer leaves until you get to the crown. And the cut and come back method preserves the crown of the lettuce, letting it regenerate for more harvests and more time to come. And you just cut all the outer older leaves until you get to the crown, which is on the very inside of the lettuce with the small tiny little leaves. And soon the small tiny little leaves will turn into bigger leaves and it will be ready to harvest very soon. 
So just do this with all your lettuce and you'll get multiple harvests out of all your plants. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you learned something really useful from it. And if you like this video and want to see more just like it, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!